Are you real or a robot? I'm real. It's Carl. How you doing, Brad? I'm just okay. How are you? I'm great. Let me guess. You got a new tattoo. What makes you say that? Dude, I can hear it in your voice. My voice? Yeah. Your tone is different. How is my tone different? It's different. You have a how you doing tone. And a, I just got a new tattoo tone. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. That's weird. Why is it weird? I don't know. How do you do that? It's called listening to people. When people talk, I listen. Dude, you should try it sometime. I didn't call to be insulted. I know, I know. You called to tell me about your new tattoo, right? So, tell me, where'd you get this done? I got a cross. A cross? <laughs> wow, that is news. Well, you've always been a Bible verse kind of guy. So what inspired you? I don't know. I thought I should get one. Everyone else I know has one. I don't have one. Yeah, I know. When are you going to get one? What, a, a cross tattoo? You serious? Yeah, you could. Or any tattoo. Do you want to be relevant? Relevant? I never really associated tattoos with being relevant. I thought it was more like being a rebel. Not for me. It's about being relevant. I wonder how the rebel crowd feels about that. Christians getting tattoos to be relevant. Or is it Christian rebels? Tattoos are very personal. There's all kinds of artists and styles. You know, it, it used to be when you saw someone with a tattoo, you stayed clear of them. As, as a matter of fact, I think they liked it that way. Maybe, but not anymore. You can't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> okay, okay, this is good. Can you judge a person by their tattoo? I wouldn't use the word judge, but you could certainly learn something about them. Really? Okay, give me an example. Well, some people are skull and crossbones. Some people are hearts and butterflies. Some people are Bible scriptures and crosses. You know, that kind of thing. So are you saying that when I see someone with a tattoo, I need to get a closer look to see if they're relevant or a rebel? Are you trying to make a point? No, I'm trying to figure out why we're having this conversation. Brad, you need to get a tattoo. So a relevant tattoo or a rebel tattoo? A tattoo that fits you. Okay, so what tattoo looks good when you're 80 years old and it's all folded and wrinkled? What does that have to do with it? Dude, tattoos are lifelong and I plan to live that long. You can't let that fog your vision. Okay, you just got a cross tattoo, right? Yeah. You thinking about getting a cross? Yeah, I was thinking about a cross with a red circle and then a slash through it. What do you think? No, you can't do that. Why would you do that? It's because I'm an atheist, brother. But you might not always be an atheist. Then as you might say, I would have a great testimony then, right? My tattoo would be a great conversation starter. It would be relevant. Come on, you don't want that when you're 80 years old. Exactly. Look, we've known each other since what? Childhood? <laughs> Listen, don't you find this conversation funny? No. Why would it be funny? Carl, this should be in a movie. The Christian character trying to convince the atheist character to get a tattoo. I don't see it as funny. I'm not sure, though, if it would be a comedy, a mystery, or even a thriller. <laughs>